Welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today we're going to talk about locking your stands uh, to the tree. How to do that safely and correctly because it's very important that we lock that. What we have to do is get this bracket on the back to be seated against there. And I'll show you that actually if you want to come over here to you look at this. So if we take this stand here, which I was originally doing this video and then we got messed up by the dogs here. But So if you take this stand, wait, hang on, I'm still setting it. Okay, and now you put the stand on, if I can, that look in here, look up this way, through here probably, but you can see that gap between that tree. See how that moves and you see that gap in there, rocking back and forth on that bracket? Okay, that's dangerous. Okay, we don't want to have that happen. If that's happening, you're not set. That's not cammed in and that's not going to bite well. So we got to fix that problem. We have to solve that. There's a few ways to set it. Now I have that strap. It's going to stay right there, but I have that strap as tight as I can get it. And I can't get it anymore. That's as tight as it'll be. But notice, that's still very wobbly, and that is not connecting back there. That, that bracket is not set. We need to find a way to lock that in. Okay, and there's a few methods to do it. So swing back over here so I, I'll show you. But now one method, which I'm going to show you, is a tow hook. The other method is a cam over method. Third method is my step-in method, all right? So all three of them work, and they all have advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to show each of them to you. Now, in order for my cam or my step-in one to work, I do make some changes. I've been doing it to my lone wolf stands ever for probably 12 years now, somewhere in there. I've been doing it to, I just did it to the B stand too, so you can see it real easy on here. I put this 45-degree chamfer on all of these teeth. That way I don't have that hard 90 degree angle so that this can slide down a tree. So if we're looking at this on a tree, here's the tree, it can slide without actually biting on those, those nubs right there. And then I do the same thing on the bottom here ever so slightly. You can see the chamfer on every one of these teeth that's on here versus the very sharp side of this side that I haven't done that to where this would bite. I want it to bite on the top. So when I cam that and it's going to dig in, it's going to pull the weight down. But on the bottom, I want it to slide down a tree when I step on it. So that's why I put that chamfers on there. I do that to all of my stands. And what it does is it gives me the option of doing this my way. But first off, before you do a toe hook method or you do the step in method or anything, it is vitally important that you cam this over first. Because if you do not, and you are planning on hanging this and getting that strap as tight as you can like I just did, and your intentions are then to step into this and toe hook it, you are stepping into a very unsecure, dangerous stand. This is dangerous, okay? There's no safety factor in this. For you to step on so we want to cam it and then once it's cammed do a step or a toe hook method i will demonstrate both of them for you so um and now when i would be doing this we always want to have our lineman belt on i would have if i'm climbing the tree and i'm here i know that i'm going to hang my stand there i would already have my lineman belt up over top of where that stand is going to be like this so that I'm set. So that when I hang that stand right here, I know I'm putting that stand there, but I can hang that stand with my lineman belt on without having to disconnect my lineman belt like this, okay? This is one step, it's an important one, but it's good, because otherwise, if you're climbing that tree up like this, I mean, this is a side note here, but it's an important one. But so you're climbing and you're rolling up this tree and you're here, and then you go, okay, I'm where I want to hang that stand. And you go and hang that stand. If your lineman belt is below there, I now have to take my tether line or the one from your shoulders and connect it before I disconnect this lineman belt, okay, to get into that stand because I'm pinned here just like a branch. So instead, what I prefer to do is I put my lineman belt above where my stand is going to be on the tree like this. So that when I come into here and I'm ready to hang this stand, I'm looking at it going, okay, I want to put that stand right here. Now I can hang that stand. Take the stand, put it on, swing the bracket around, grab it here, pull it tight, make sure it's on, and my stand is set. But I don't have to disconnect this now. So we're just a sidebar for you, okay? Keep always work your stand below your lineman belt. That way you are safe and secure. And I can get into this with this lineman belt on. You can also attach your tether if you'd rather do that too. But either way, this is a safety factor for me. So before we get into this to demonstrate like a tow hook method, 
Um, again, we are in a very wobbly, dangerous stand here. Okay, there's no, no nothing. You can see this whole V-bracket rolling around. We want to cam this. You can cam it by the seat. You cam it with either your elbow here if you want, grabbing the platform and tipping it and pushing down with your elbow. I don't do that. I actually just put my hand on here, but I will grab the platform, open the platform, push down with that seat, and then while still putting pressure down here or with your elbow here, then cam this while you push into the tree. Those teeth on the back of this platform, like I showed you, that I did not file off, they are going to bite this tree, and they are pulling it right now. It is pulling the stand down the tree as I cam that because I'm pushing in and pushing down, and that just cam that in. Now this stand is much, look at that, much more stable. It's technically hunt ready if you want to. Okay, then what I do after I do that, my step method is really simply, I just flip the seat back up and I come right here like this, keep my lineman belt up good and safe, and I put my foot right here and I give it a stomp to make sure it's set. Okay, it's locked in. Okay, that stand is now 100% safe and secure and set. Okay, no wobble, no nothing. She's locked in, we're, we're safe. There's no movement in here. And come in here, T, you can see... Look at these teeth, how well they're bit in now. Okay, look at how well that bites under or above or what either one, but see how those are completely locked in. And no matter what I do on this stand, there's no wobble. This is the goal. The goal is to have those locked into that tree. This strap is so, look at that. I mean, you can't, I mean, you can play a guitar on that. There's no giving it. We are now 100% securely locked into this tree. Now the tow hook method is the same exact concept just takes a little longer and it's a little more acrobatic. But you can see what I did there, how I you know, quickly cam it, pull my lineman belt up, give a step right there, and I'm set and I get in and I'm ready to hunt. So I'm done, problem solved. The tow hook method takes a little bit longer. And what you're gonna do with that, let me uh, come down here where we can lift this stand up. I'm gonna actually give myself quite a bit of slack here so we can break this dude free. <coughs> there, okay. So now, as we have this stand on there and set like this, the tow hook method is very similar, but with more movement. You're gonna come into here. We are, again, same way, going to cam this, okay? Bending that up, all my weight to pressurize down there, and you've seen it drop and get set in, and as I push into the tree, I am rolling it, letting those back of those teeth bite and pull it down as best it can to seat this part. With that said, now for the tow hook method, you are going to come into the tree, into the stand. Now this is where it gets a little crazy. Come around on this side. The issue I have with this method, if you're doing it without, you better use a tether. Okay. If you're tow hooking a stand, use your tether line before you tow hook it. Because tow hooking it with a lineman belt is dangerous. I'll explain why. But when I say use your tether, take your tether line. Tie yourself into the tree or the one from your shoulders and tie yourself in. Important. Because this requires some acrobatics. You are going to be working above with most of your weight above the Versa button, which can be dangerous. I've never heard of it ever being. And I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying the physics are there and the physics don't lie. So make sure you're extra safe. And also we have an issue when you go to tow hook when it comes to your lineman belt. I'll show you that. So here we are. We're set in. We got our stand set. And we put our lineman belt up here, okay? And we go to do this tow hook method, right? The tow hook method is where we're going to put the seat down. We're going to put a knee on the seat, lean into the tree, and we're going to tip this up with our foot. And I'll show you. But watch what happens with my lineman belt, okay? So I put the seat down. Oh, where did my lineman belt just go? It's way down there. If something goes wrong and I fall, I am falling a long way and I am hurt really bad. Because we got to keep that lineman belt up high, okay? So if you're using it with just a lineman belt, make sure you have a hand on that lineman belt. Because as soon as I move into this tree, it's go see, it's, you're going to lose it. It's going to drop. There's no way to do this method. It's just you better be holding on to the back of that lineman belt rope. That's why I say it's safer for the tow hook method to actually connect your tether to the tree before you do this. Okay. So if I put my hand on there and hold that, we want to have that seat there, hand on the seat for support, or two on the tree, whatever you want. This foot is going to hook this bracket, the platform. I'm going to tip it up enough to let this drop some. Okay, there it is. See, it, just, it barely dropped because I already set it really well. But you can see it drop in, and then you push this and cam it back over. Okay, 
Now, when I do this, you'll notice here when I cam it, there's no real pressure into the back of this platform like I did when we cammed it to begin with. So those teeth just slide up. See them? Down here, those bottom ones. See how when I do this, they're just sliding up, okay? They're not actually digging in. Where that's why we cam it to begin with, with pressure pushing into there so that it can bite and pull. But that's the tow hook method. Then you're free to turn around and hunt. But this whole process of the tow hook method has to have those safety precautions in. Set that harness, because like I said, and then you take your seat, put your seat there, grab the platform, tip mm -hmm. it up, seats it in, and you're done, and then it's tow hooked. That's what pushes it in and locks it. I will lift the platform one more time so you see that tow hook make it drop. But again, just like my stomp method, the tow hook or the stomp is just the final thing. The biggest part of seating it is actually camming it over, okay? So it's here like this, okay, there it is. Your stand's on, you just set it, okay? Yeah, no, on the strap, there you go. And you tighten that and you're on there, okay? This is not set. Watch how much of a difference this makes as this drops just by camming this, okay? From here down, if I lift this platform, look at it drop, see it drop in there? And then when I cam this and bite in, it's pulling it down even more. That is the most important step, okay? Now then I just come in, like I said, here it is, come in, done, and I'm ready to hunt. But if we want to tow hook that, we cam it in, do it again, here it is, cam it, gets it set in there, come in, swing in, get set, make sure your line is on, your tether is set, put that there, hold your tether, grab the back, tip it, see it's not making any difference because that camming really moved it enough, but there you go, and then you're set and you're locked. So those are basically your methods of hanging a stand and getting them locked on. One of those has to be done. You have to have that bat wing bracket or antler bracket or V bracket or whatever your stand uses back here has got to be sunk into that tree. If it is not, your stand is not safe. It has too much wiggle, too much flexibility, and too much option to kick out on you and dump you out of it. Mandatory that set. You can verify it by coming back and looking. So like, let me see that for one sec. You can actually hand me the phone. Okay, so when I'm up here and I get in, before I disconnect anything alignment belt wise, I can look right there and see that they are bit into that tree 100% perfect. I am rock solid and stable as can be, and that is what we want. Here you go, honey. Thank you. And that is what we're looking for for that safety factor. Without that, you are on an unsafe platform, so make sure you set every stand. Doesn't matter if you use a tow hook, doesn't matter if you use a stomp, a variation of that which my buddy John does because he never felt comfortable doing that tow hook, and I can understand that. Again, he looks at it from the physics and the acrobatics on a seat of a platform rather than on a platform. But another option that he uses is kind of a combination of the two. Okay, now he does a stomp like I do because it just works good. Okay, but you cam this in like this, but instead of, you know, again, there's no reason not to just do this. You're done. I mean, seriously, I, I don't understand it, but... Um, but, but again, to each your own under setups. But so this is set right here like this. You cam it over. What he does is he comes in this way. He gets on his stand so that he's set. And he comes in and he has his tether on. And he puts a foot right against the seat post like that. So that foot is there. That foot being right there. Holding onto the tree with two hands like I am up here. See this? And then he grabs and he just tips it a little like that and pushes it. And then he pushes it back down. It does the same thing without having to do these acrobatics here like this. Okay, It's the same concept that he's using by locking in, bear hugging in, setting that foot there, and doing that, and then pushing it down. The goal is to seat it. So there's three different methods of doing it. Every one of them requires you to cam it over first. Remember that. Be 